Welcome. It's great to see this many people still on a Tuesday. Um, I'm honored to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Chris Chang. Dr. Chang received his PhD in bone physiology and is cert certified in orthodontics from Indiana University. He is a diplomat of the American Board of Orthodontics and he's currently practicing in Taipei, Taiwan. He is author of Jobsology, co-author of Orthodontic Volumes 1 through 3, Clinical Implant Dentistry 1 and 2, Angle Case Report, and he is the publisher of the International Journal of Orthodontics and Implantology. Dr. Chang lectures frequently worldwide on a range of topics including impaction treatment, gummy smile, mini screws, implant orthodontic combined treatment, and jobs effective presentations. In addition to teaching and publishing, he found an orthodontic and implant group based in Shinchu, Taiwan. He has produced a series of video courses in orthodontics and implantology and an app, Beethoven Dental Encyclopedia. He has been actively involved in the design of orthodontic bone screws and application on impaction treatment. His latest focus is on imp implant and orthodontic combined treatment. He will present to us today on innovative impaction treatment. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Chang. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kim, for your kind introduction. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The video on the screen is my country, Taiwan. Taiwan is going to host the Taiwan Forum at the end of this year. I hope you can join us. We will cover a variety of interesting topics. And also enjoy the Taiwanese hospitality. When you get into Taiwan, it's very easy to spot this building. So find this building, Taipei 101. Hit to the south, 40 miles, you'll be able to reach me, the Beethoven or something. I was practiced there. I want to say special thanks to the entire AAO committee for honoring me for this invitation. It truly is a great honor to speak in AAO. When you see this camera that indicates this slide is very important. So when you need to sign, if you have an eye ball, it's either so you need to sign. Or what you want to do, I don't care, but you need to do something because it is so important information and remember that. How would you fix a case like this? Wow, two so already gone. So obvious is a uh, is today. And how would you fix a case like this? Sixteen millimeter up there. Wow. And how would you fix this severe transposition? And how would you find an easier way to fix this case? No matter you read from left to right or right to left, it's always wow. What would be the easier way to fix this case? By knowing this, it will save you years of frustration. And remember, we want to find an easier way to do it. Kenji! Oh, Kenji, you are so good. What if the duration is right? What would you do? Well, if the duration is right, most likely it's because lack of space. If you, if the patient lack of space, what would you do? It's like if you don't have money, you want to get some money. So we create a space and then it erupts by itself. So open the space, wait for auto eruption will be the way I want to treat this case. And when you open it, the majority of the case will erupt by itself, like this. Do we need a surgery? No. 
Most of the case, they will erupt by itself. You don't need a surgery. Hey, Chris, this is so easy. I know. This is not real infection. This is called pseudo infection. And people come to Washington, D.C., they don't want to listen to pseudo infection. Because pseudo infection is not real, it's a fake infection, like a fake news. We want a real infection. Top one. Top infection and transposition. And in order to do that, you need to think outside the box. But think outside the box can, can, cannot get you anywhere. You need to perform outside the box. In order to do that, the key is mechanic. And I was so lucky. Early days, I learned from Charlie Bristol, and later on, Jim Roberts became my mentor. I really enjoy studying from Dr. Robert and Dr. Bristol. And later on, I was so upset about biomechanics. And let me just give you a little background. This is 30 years ago when Charlie Bristol gave a lecture in Taiwan, and I was just 27 years old. <laughs> And I, I was obsessed about this Charlie Bristol. I started to study every single aspect of Charlie Bristol from the baby Charlie Bristol and first up and his father and first up and his uh, probably most intelligent female student, which I don't know who he is. And later on, I have a chance to become the keynote speaker in. Burston Symposium in IU, and after that, Charlie Burston asked me, Chris, I want to ask you some question about the infection. Well, sure, no problem. And at the end, Charlie Burston punched the table and said, Chris, I agree. This is a much better way to fix the patient. And after that, my friend Dr. Parr told me, Chris, what's wrong with you? Did you realize that Everybody was standing. You are the only one sit and smile. You are not supposed to smile. But Johnny Burstow asked you a question. Really? <laughs> Dr. Papa, what's your problem? I told you, you need to perform outside the box in order to get the job done. Remember that? You need to perform. And I want to show you step by step. And finally, I want to give you the golden rule, how to fix it. So, over the year, I figured out there is only two infections in here. Once you know this infection, you know everything. Just two. And I'm going to award you, if anybody can figure out which two, I'm going to give you this IQ yes. Do you want to grow Yes. You want to grow Okay, you got it. <laughs> so this is him. I'm going to give you a first one. And I want to give you. Give you. Sign up. Okay. From me. To figure out a second. Okay. It is very difficult. I didn't even try. The first one is upper. I'm not going What is the second one? Oh, you are a genius. We have a lot of genius right here. You don't have to listen to my lecture. So, if you master this, you'll be able to solve all the questions. And that is my golden rule. I know a lot of people need to catch a fly. So, you just take a photo, you're ready to go. I forgive you. But the most important is thinking process is not the slide. So take a photo. Oh, no, no. Don't take a photo. Just use your iPhone. It should be OK. <laughs> Airbrain used to say, if I had one hour to fix the problem, I would say 55 minutes to think about the problem, five minutes to think about the solution. I think this absolutely to watch. When we go to the infection, 55 minutes to think about the diagnosis and the problem. But with modern technology, which is called a CD, I think we can reduce 55 to only 5. Can you believe it? 
Because with the coding CT, you'll be able to see every aspect of that problem. So within five areas, I'm not talking to five minutes, I'm talking to five seconds, you'll be able to know the problem. So if you want to know more about the coding CT, I think also, also Science is a very good website. You can study from this, this website. They produce wonderful teaching material to show you how to use the common CT. So with this common CT, let's get back to our first particle impaction. If you have particle impaction like this, what would you do? First, I use common CT within five seconds. I'd be able to know exact where they are, why I know exact where they are located, because I have common CT. So if you already know they are right there, and you're looking at it's like a thing, you want to rush up, and you can see the whole You probably appreciate somebody cut a window and let me come there. So I'm going to grab a scalpel and make a hole and with that window, if they have bone cover, I just remove the bone. And after that, I cover with carpet. Why? Because number one, I want to stop breathing. Number two, patient comfort. Number three, slow down the epistylization, keep the wall open. 20 minutes, I'll be able to finish two operations. But how keep to cut the window? If you got this one, I cut the teeth, you know everything about the window. This is the most important thing to learn today. Simon, so, you know, do not refer up, do it yourself. I don't want to work with oral surgeon. Do you know why? Can't you? Because we also don't think are very humble person, and they are not. <laughs> For example, I am extremely humble. You know what I mean? Put your hand. Your hand is. Okay. You agree? Can you tell I'm very humble? Okay. <laughs> you so smart, your hands. So three days later, I remove the copay. 20 days. And 40 days. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. 60 days. We ready to put this button, and it's a 60 day, and after that is two months, three months, four months, and five months. Wow, how could that possible? In 15 months, we'll be able to get the job done. 15 months. And how could that possible you open a window, and Dr. King will get out that window? The best way to interpret that will be regional accelerate phenomenon proposed by Harold Frost Bex on 1987. And I didn't know who is the Harold Frost. One day I asked my professor, hey professor, who is the Harold Frost anyway? I never heard of him. And Dr. Dr. Robert was not happy. I said, for God's sake, Chris, Dr. Frost and Charlie Burstow coach me and I coach you. So, for Harold Frost and Charlie Burstow are your grandpa. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, I am so stupid, you know. I'm stupid for a student, I know. So, I'm so sorry about it. I was blind, now I see. I was totally blind. If you are interested, Dr. Robert published an article in this journal, and it's a free download, and you can also go to the books to get a free copy. Do you want a copy? Your answer? So go to the books. I am a friend. See, I have a terrible sexual discrimination. I prefer lady. How about this? How about how about maybe your impression? Let me give you one inside story. Nine years ago, some people give me a present. Why? That I 
made his scouting by the name of Homer Azate. Because Homer Azate was inventing a new technique called Vista. So one day Homer Azate visited my office and I immediately realized within 10 minutes, you know, I realized this is the technique we can use in our impaction. Let me show you originally the Vista is try to solve gingival recession or straight explosion. So you just create a tunnel inside the tunnel, you put a piece of meat, which is a connective tissue graph into that So you see that I was thinking about we can use this technique to solve the debut infection. So let me give you one example. Can you? If you are debut infection and meet our other, what would you do? What you need to create, look at that. One is superficial, one is very deep. So in order to do that, you need to create a tunnel. Inside a tunnel, you move the casket back, 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 and down, right? That's the way to do it. So the tunnel technique, the vista, can get the job done. Let me show you step by step. First, you make a vertical incision, you find a target, which is the infection, and you make the second incision, so you create a tunnel. Inside the tunnel, you grind the bone. Bone trim is the, is the key. If you don't trim the bone, how can you get the canine band? Okay? So, after that, you tie the lecture wire in the tunnel, and outside the tunnel, I use power chain, so I can change the power chain, and you done. And that is the IZG screw I'm going to use as an anchorage to move the canine band area. You still with me? This is important. Where is your iPhone? How many times I have to remind you, Aaron? So, looking at the, the, the school is somewhere around the Blue Coach in Jiba Junction, and I love to leave the school head about five millimeters. So, in case the patient didn't brush, the information would not cover the school head. So with that, you'll be able to find all the techniques in this journal right here. The force level is about four arms. So that's what we did, and we sutured it. And then, look at carefully. The right hand side, we get the job done in five months, Vista only. It's okay for the right hand side, but unfortunately in the left hand side, it was stuck by the lateral incisor. Why? Because the left hand side is too deep. So you, you, if you just move back, you hit the lateral incisor, that's why it's stuck. So it's not okay in the left hand side. Wow, that's the thing again. The right hand side is okay, the left hand side is not okay because it's deep. So if I can plan the mechanic again, what we need in the left hand side, in order to get over the data incisor, you need an outward force system, which is you need a 3D labor to bring that out and bring that back and bring that down. It is so easy, but I was blind. Now I can see. This has a very good teaching value because I make big mistakes when people make big mistakes. That is how you can learn about it. So now I know if I use the code 3D data, I will not get into this problem. So I make mistakes. Chris, you make mistakes. Yeah. Everybody makes mistakes. What's the big deal? But the big deal is you have so over the year, I find out. I find out. I don't. I don't like to make mistake because the one who make no mistake make nothing. Make nothing. They are not real men. You know, they are not real men. So the next statement is indeed the most important statement I heard. I make. I make mistakes. But let me tell you, I'm so proud. 
I never make the same mistake twice. Any problem with that? Huh? Because I make it at least three or four times. <laughs> I am so done. Okay. <laughs> so, at the end, we'll be able to get the job done. Chris, do you accept this resolution? Yeah, it was resolution from the beginning. I do, I accept. And when I look at I check the central incisor is pretty firm. That's good news. I'm going to keep it as long as possible. And pay attention to soft tissue and top, the top of the camera. It's good. Is that perfect? No, it's not perfect. Nobody is perfect. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I try to convince my wife I'm not perfect. But she just keeps. She's not happy. Okay. So no, that, that doesn't matter. So we, we, we go ahead about next time I have me, Aviola, do you know what I will do? I will use this 3D labor arm to solve the problem because I know I need an hour vector to get the job done. So I print that there, like this. Is this hard to do? No. Five months. Can you believe it? Can you? Just five months. We'll be able to get a job. So it's easy, very easy. If you ask Charlie Burstone, my where is my Charlie Burstone? My, I want to put my Charlie Burstone here. <laughs> my grandpa. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, right, right. And Charlie Burstone was which why mechanic is the fussy. Fussy is easy. You know? So the hard thing is do not burn the adjacent tooth. Keep it as a free body. Once you hit the letter, the letter will go out and come back to the original place. So keep it as a free body is the hard tip I would like to share with you. And then, again, you have a root resource. I know, difficult thing is difficult. Check the hard tissue and soft tissue. I love it. One more. Suppose you have transposition like this, what would you do? 16 millimeter up there, and it's a horizontal. The root go into the sinus and have enamel pearl. What would you do? Easy, vista. And when you get a vista, you do need to remove the bone because if you don't remove the bone, you need to recruit the austere class. I don't need austere class, I use austere bird. Two minutes. I'll be able to remove all the bone I want. Chris, we are also in You are also in You cannot use fur. For God's sake, you cannot use fur. I love osteoporosis. So that's the name. And then I put a mini school. 90 degrees to the surface. When you catch a ball, you keep scooting and change the direction within 21 seconds. I get a chair. 21 seconds. And think about it. If Christian can do it, how hard could that be? This guy even cannot speak English. <laughs> if you are worried about the failure rate, the failure rate is about 6%, which is very low. And then I assembled the 3D labor arm, and this 3D labor arm will go into the middle of the socket, and it's about four arms. And we'll be able to get it. I, use, I always use this uh, flow of racing to smooth the surface. With that, within five months, we'll be able to get the job done. Just five months. And we move 16 millimeters. Can you believe it? In these five months, I only make one adjustment of the 3D level. That's it. Five months. Vista IDC and 3D labor is a wonderful tool to fix this mid alveolar. I think it's a simple yet powerful tool to do that. 
So five months in treatment, we be able to get into, and the rest is just talk control. And finally, I finished like that. And people say, Chris, did you see the class two video? The Brazilian doctor, my friend, did the class two video. I said, so what? My friend, you can't do the class two video, but they are not normal person. No one was going to not produce a perfect result like this. So you should not run from those abnormal students. Yes, sir, you are abnormal. But it's not perfect. I know. When God created God in the first day, He was strange. And He said, He continued His first day. He said, He was good. He didn't say He was perfect. <laughs> and He just came on me. What's wrong with you, would you? It's a difficult case. The patient is happy, I am happy. Most important, my wife is happy. And like if my wife is happy, everything is okay. So my primary job is to make my wife happy because that put in peace. So one more time, let me show you the base time. First, you make the vertical incision. Why vertical incision? Because it get up to down the bra surprise. Vertical incision will ensure this investment of the bra disruption. And then you make the second incision. Now you create a tunnel. Inside the tunnel, what you wanted to do? You cut the bone. Can you cut the bone? Of course. Before we are also done, we are dentists. Can you say, I'm, I'm, I'm also don't, I, I don't know how to use the head, high speed. And then you put a screw, everybody can screw. This is human nature. So put a screw in, you put down the pouch here, it's easy. So if you want to learn more about the Vista, we publish this in this journal. Good, good catch. Every single step can be found in this journal and it's free download. And you can go to my, the booth 12 15. And at the end, we attach the CRM store. The CRM store is 1 15. So it's not perfect. I know it's not perfect. But it's good enough. It's good. Okay, we take care of initial and distal. We use 3D diagram with IGC and Vista. And then, how to paint this 3D diagram? Easy. The way to paint it is just get a piece of 19 by 25, then the first hit it. The first hit it is to hose the power chain. The second hit it is to store the energy. And after that, you done. The whole procedure took about 10 seconds. That was slow motion. In a clinic, it would be much faster. How about upper, upper incisor? What would you do? Fire injection. Wow, fire injection. Young kid. Oh, yeah. I was listening to a true So it's a uh, thirty months later, but Dr. Baker is And arch development is very important to create spaces, and we done for this. How to do it? Easy. It could be very complicated if you don't know where to go. So first, you imagine where is that impacted. Tools located, teeth located, and you have a common CD, and you create a space like this. When you create a space, you not create a space, you only create a character line, 
which is the matrix of the And then you open up where you want to put the bottom. If you refer to the oral surgeon, they will put in the lingo side. But lingo side is not wrong for the mechanic. So I will prefer put in the labial side. But labial side is difficult, hard to do because breathing and fret tension. Only orthodontic can do it. We are the only profession can put in the labial side. Because we know how to put it. Any question about it? You don't trust me? Huh? I can look through your eye. I know you don't trust me. Be careful. Hang on. And I open a window. And then, that's it. 18 months. And 19 months. Did you see the progress? And we almost done. And look at the arch deferment. Did I do any presentation? I want to keep it as simple as possible. I know this approach can develop the arch. Believe me. Believe me. I know. Because I treat so many kids. You don't believe me. <laughs> okay, I forgive you this time. Anyway, it's easy to fix K. Okay, how about a Tao? A Tao impact central incisor. It's very, very difficult.